Aloha everybody, Mike Jutar, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour today. I am on Aloha Place in Kona, Hawaii. What a better name could there be for a street if you're living in Hawaii than Aloha Place. We're gonna check out a really awesome listing. You're gonna absolutely love this. There's a couple features in here that we have not seen on a lot of our properties here recently. Um, this is a good value. It's listed at 2.3 million. I'm, I'm literally, I'm kind of surprised it's still available. Uh, this is listed by Candace Stansel over at eXp Realty. Big thank you to her for letting us bring this to you. This is a relatively new build. We got dual primary suites. One of them's really big. Uh, great finishes inside and out. Great views, pool, privacy. I mean, I don't know what else you could ask for. Let's start off right out here. I'm gonna show you the outside of the property, the inside of the property. I'm going to show, tell you my three favorite things about the property and the one thing I would change if it was mine. Let's get started. First, coming right here to the driveway. They spent some money and have a stained concrete driveway. That's nice. They have a little upgrade. we got an oversized two-car garage. I'm going to show you that from the inside in a moment. It might look like a three. I don't know if you can get two cars in here, um, but you definitely have a large garage. You have that third, that little extra space that's there. So that's really cool. Uh, stucco exterior, security system, standing seam metal roof, fully guttered, beautiful landscaping, nice curb appeal right here from the front. Really, really excellent job. As these plants continue to grow and fill in, it's going to have a really nice tropical look over here and a great front yard. I mean, good appeal. The approach on this home is absolutely excellent. And then we come here to the front door. I mean, look at that. It's just gorgeous, guys. We got these two massive ohia posts. These are like 12 inches, 14 inches across. I mean, these are really big, absolutely gorgeous. And a couple of things to point out here. So we step up to the home elevation, but a lot of times, even when you have a stucco, stucco exterior, you won't have stucco up here in the eaves. They do have that. And you see they have um, this little system here for venting. So that helps uh, keep your attic area cool, which keeps your ceiling cool which keeps your house cool. So really important that they did that. Nice, large double door entry. Looks like we got eight foot doors here. Just a great approach and entry in. The camera's gonna adjust. So I'm just gonna walk right straight out to the view because I know that's what you wanna see. And then you'll see it come in here. And boom, there you are. Nice ocean view here. You got some nice vegetation. You know you're in Hawaii. You got the tropical feel out here man so i think you're going to spend a lot of time now a lot of time out here the this is at the bottom of the subdivision but we're off the upper highway so we're still at a 1200 foot elevation so we're nice and high we're really in that sweet spot not too much rain definitely not too warm we got a good view by being at the bottom of the subdivision we don't have a ton of houses there are other houses down below but that's in a neighborhood that's a little bit lower so the houses barely jump into our view there so really nice, got a view all the way out to the northerly direction, pretty nice. And then, yeah, just lots of privacy out here at the pool. So like, I ain't saying nothing, but if you were out here at the pool, you could kind of wear whatever swimsuit you want to wear. I don't think anyone's gonna see you. So that's a pretty nice little setup. While we're here, let's check it out. We got a good length pool here, nice for dipping in. You got your sun deck. Just a few inches of water. I think it's like uh, six, 12 inches deep right there, maybe. And then your steps that go in. Um, it looks like an upgraded plaster. It's not just a colored plaster, but there's a like a different color on the flakes instead of the dye. So really nice job on the pool. Looks gorgeous. We have our fence going around. Got more Ohia posts out here. Let's check out the southern side of the house. Got our gate, we got our pool equipment. Pretty good job over there. Plenty of grass. Sometimes we get these pools in the backyard and you run out of space, but this one still has a good amount of space. Look at all the Ohia posts down here. Really impressive. Nice large covered lanai, so super usable to sit out here and enjoy a break from the sun. Ceiling treatment out here on the lanai, which isn't always done. And then over here, look, they got the screens that come down. So if the sun in the late afternoon is just blasting right in, you want a little bit of a reprieve, you can lower those shades and then you don't have all that sun blasting in. So you see they got their grill out here. They got the green egg, table and chairs. Over here they got a lounger, 
I mean, you got a lot of space to do a lot out here. You're gonna love that. Take in that view again. Oh, didn't even point out. We got a spa here. I like these spas. I mean, I like the ones that are built in too, but I actually like these a little bit better because they're more efficient. You can heat them up and they stay warm. Um, so that kind of works. And you know, you have jets all over, so you really get a, a nice sort of a hydrotherapy session in those things. Whereas the ones that are built in with gunite, um, you know, they just, it's a hot water thing and it's moving around, but that's it. Oh, I'm glad we stood out here. So we got two Tesla Powerwall stations, solar photovoltaic, solar hot water heater. That's in the back of the garage. We'll go check that out in a second. And, uh, oh, it looks like we might have an outdoor shower. Kind of nice over there. All right, let's make our way inside and do a full interior tour for you guys. Okay, back inside. I tell you what, I'm going to start over here on this end of the house. And, you know, when I walked through here, I come and check out the houses for like maybe two or three minutes before I start the tours for you guys. I came over, I walked in here, and I thought, well, this is a really good primary bedroom. I could live in here. I, this could be something I would consider getting. This isn't even the main primary bedroom. This is like the second primary bedroom. There's a better one than this. So <laughs> stay watching. Good size on here. We got an Eastern King, King, Eastern King bed. <laughs> got that right. So you can see we got plenty of space on the left and right. We got a nice little um, kind of that, what do they call that, recessed area there. Uh, up in the ceiling, windows are in great condition. And it looks like we got power roller shades, so that's an upgrade. I'm telling you guys, this one's a good deal. Um, you don't get that in a lot of houses. I love our luxury vinyl, nice large planks. We got, looks like about three and a half, four inch baseboards, but they're square, which I really like. White on a light gray wall. Looks at, this is almost, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was darn near the same color I did on my home. Uh, and then they went Really, I wish now, boy, they went dark gray onto these doors. I'm totally liking that. Not something I considered. I went white on mine, but those are great. Three panel doors throughout. So how is this for a closet that's not the primary, the second primary closet? Plenty of space in here. Really good. We transition from our luxury tile to a, tile to a 12 by 24 porcelain tile. Good attention to detail with the gray grout lines matches absolutely perfect. We come over here to our zero threshold entry into our shower, pebble bottom, black fixtures. We switch to a 12 by 24 horizontally placed polished marble style tile over here. Plenty of space. I like how they have room to sit and a little nook over here for your shampoo, which here I am today, guys. You can tell I, uh, my little niche for shampoo would have nothing in it. Uh, I love this gray. Check out the colors firing off there. This is a quartz product. Really looks great. Single basin sink over here. White cabinets. Shaker style cabinets. These are craft made. That's a high value cabinet. Dovetail joints. I don't know if you can kind of see right down there. Nice dovetail joint. Soft close. Really good job on this stuff. Really excellent. Privacy door over here going into the bathroom, toilet, water closet. I think we got it all covered there. Excellent. So this is second primary. What I like is that you come right across the hall. This is why I thought it was the main primary. I was like, oh, Lisa wants a yoga room or a workout room, office. I want a room to do my Zwift cycling. Um, you got that in here. You can do whatever you want. Good flex space. It's a bedroom. You could fit a queen size bed in here, so you can just use it as a bedroom. I'm really liking these dark gray doors, guys. Man, is it too late to change at my house? Oh my gosh. I want to like and a subscribe and a comment if you had one of these like me. Oh, I can't go through people's stuff. And I had all my Star Wars toys in there. I got that, of course, in the 80s. I'm a child of the 80s. I had like all the Star Wars figurines. Oh my gosh, I had a, a real flashback there. And it was a good one. Holy smokes, I might have to look, I don't know.
We'll talk later. I'm going to do that off camera. I check with the listing agent. All right. Let's get back on track to looking at a house. Um, we get that same tile that we had in the other bathroom. Single basin sink over here. Same countertop. Same cabinets. Looks absolutely awesome. Uh, they put a window sill around here. We don't see that all the time in Hawaii. So nice little upgrade there. Big tub that we have over here. That thing is wide, man. That is not little. I, it might look little in the camera. It's not. It's super wide. Um, and I love that tile that they use on the back. And then they put the kind of like you get at a hotel where the shower curtain bows out. So it doesn't really like get in the way. Nice job on that. And check out, you know, you want to obscure the, the windows here in the bathroom because people are walking over there in the front door. Uh, I like what they have done here. It's really gorgeous. Pops a lot of color. Excellent job on that. Nice fixtures in here. Excellent. So we got two bedrooms back here already. Now on to the main section of the house. The great room is absolutely huge. We got our luxury vial down below. Vaulted ceiling, sheetrock, dual ceiling fans, nice pendant lights on the other side, recessed lights. I'm sure they're all LED. If they're not, buy the home with me. I'll pay for your LED lights. Uh, we go a little bit darker on that wall there, so it kind of matches the doors that we had. Um, I like that, that little change in color uh, on that one wall. Huge pocket slider. Looks like, I don't know, 16, 18 feet or so. Pocket slider going all the way out to that large lanai that we showed you earlier. Fleetwood brand, excellent brand. So you got one here that's gonna be the glass and one that's gonna be the screen so you can keep it open and keep the bugs out or you can totally close it up if you need to. All right, so boy, this is a big island, guys. This thing is like 12 feet long, maybe more, 14 feet. It is really big. They got that darker gray here. Again, perfect, gorgeous piece of stone here. Yeah, they did a really nice job on that. And then down below, we got storage all the way around here. So what you're gonna see for a few minutes now where I'm showing you the house is some of the storage features that they have because it is super top notch. 42 inch uppers with the crown molding on top. Excellent job on that. You can see there is tons and tons of space. These nice deep pullouts. That's my drawer. Yeah. Excellent storage in here, guys. Um, all these cabinets are sliding beautifully. I love it. Nice deep drawers here in the kitchen. Underneath your glass cooktop. This is a GE profile. Looks beautiful. And then let's take our attention to the backsplash here. This nice blue tile mosaic on here absolutely fires off gorgeous it's really nice to do that we did something similar in our place you want to get a splash of color in with your whites and your grays that really showcases uh really well they did a nice job on that you notice we got that dark gray quartz countertop um see how those sparkles fire off there i really like it and then stainless steel vent over here ge profile on our oven and that does have convection bake on that microwave oven and then oven down here. Holy cow, Wi-Fi connect. You can Wi-Fi your oven now, guys. I know that's out there. I know you guys know it's out there, but I still get amazed by it. Coming back over here to the island. Let's see, yep, perfect. Got a rubbish bins, storage under your sink, dishwasher, stainless steel right here, large single basin, composite sink, black fixtures, water spout there, pop up for your power cords, super useful. More storage over here, and then check out this GE profile, super wide, side-by-side -side counter depth, stainless steel refrigerator. Look how wide your freezer is there. Water and ice on the side, refrigerator on the other side. Tons of space in this thing. Super awesome, A++. Really nice job. And then, but wait, there's more. I told you I'd tell you guys about storage. Huge pantry, excellent. Continuing along, let's go down this hallway. We're now on the north side of the home. We have another bedroom. They're using it as an office. You can easily get a queen size bed in here. You can use it as an office like this. You can do a workout room. You got a huge closet back here. Tons of space in this thing. Looks like they kind of have it as a TV room. Continue to the end of the hall. Utility room, there's a great utility. So they got the backup fridge. Awesome, keep even more stuff there. Washer and dryer. And then check out all the storage we have over here on the side on this wall. Super awesome. I know you can never have enough storage. And then, outside here, we're going into our garage. 
super large garage. Like I said, I'm not sure if you get three cars in here or not. Oh, well you can. So they got one, two, and then you have the stall for a third. They did what you and I are gonna do. This is a workout room, bikes, storage, something. Like, you need a third car garage, not for a third car, but just for all the stuff, right? So, excellent work on that. So that is a true three car garage. Boy, this is checking off more boxes for me. I told you guys I might wanna live here myself. Um, so you come from your garage, right through your drop zone there, with your washer dryer, and if this is your home, this is the primary that you're going to use, so easy access. Closet, I don't show closets all the time, but this one is big. Look at that, guys, tons of room. One of the better closets I've seen in a while. We don't see a lot of big closets. In here to the bedroom, great size on that. Uh, we got an Eastern king size bed, and look, still room for a nice big uh, nightstand and a chair on this side. Big nightstand. I mean, big dresser on the other side. Tons of space. More of that blue color pop. Really nice. Looks great. Dual dressers. Excellent there. I mean, we got a really big room here. We got our gray door. And then continuing back into this bathroom. This is what really makes this the best for me. So, we got our water closet here. The storage outside. Oh, so if you're out at the pool, you can just come in here to go to the bathroom and uh, not have to track water throughout the house. Beautiful job here. Got these white cabinets below shaker that we've seen before, more and above. Nice wide mirrors here. Dual basin sinks, tons of space. Really excellent. Large shower. I'm telling you guys, this might be my home. Zero threshold, pebble bottom, dual shower heads with the rainfall head over the top, bench over here on the side. I mean, this thing is like six by eight, maybe larger, large niche for all your different hair products, ladies. And then we finish off out here, dual shower heads in the outdoor shower. I don't think we've had that yet. Guys, this is a good one. If someone's looking in this $2 million range, you gotta jump on this, man. Holy cow. Like, immediately. I'm seriously gonna have to show this to Lisa. Um, okay, that's the tour. My three favorite things, and the one thing I would change or add is tell me what you would change or add. Um, and what your favorite things were as well. My favorite thing is just gonna have to be this suite right here. Um, this really checks all the boxes for me. I love the dual shower heads. I think the dual shower heads outside is just such a nice touch. Um, the dual shower heads is really nice. Large, large, lots of room. Like this owner's suite has just got it absolutely all super stunning. So that's uh, my favorite thing. Second favorite thing. I guess the overall storage, but I would also just say how much space you have over here in this kitchen. It's just absolutely outstanding. Checks all of your boxes. Third favorite thing, I'm, there's probably gonna be more, but the number one, number three, <laughs> the number one thing on number three uh, is gonna be out here having this excellent pool outdoor area with the hot tub and that it's super private. Like, so seriously, I'm standing here no one can see me. None of my neighbors can see me right now. Um, that's rare for us here in Hawaii. Like, you gotta recognize that. We don't have a lot of land, things get a little bit close together. So, this whole outdoor area is absolutely outstanding. There's a couple other things I wanna point out. Solar PV is a big deal. Um, energy costs are super high out here. Uh, and the little touches that they put in here that were really thoughtful, I like the motorized um, window shades. The one thing I would add, it's a small thing and it's easy to do, I would probably add a mini split system to the two primary bedrooms. Um, we're at 1200 foot elevation, so I'm really not worried about temperature during the day. Even in the summertime, uh, generally you get pretty good airflow and you're up high. Um, but just in case you get a little warm night, I think that'll help, but easy enough to add. Um, I love it. I hope you like this property. I got more for you in the corner. See you again real soon.